Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we are back. We're back on YouTube. It's been seven months since I've um, uploaded a video. Been way, way too long. Um, not intentional. I've been building this, this environment you can see that I'm sat in. Uh, built it from the ground up and I want to cover that in a separate video. I've got some videos that show the, the building of it. It's not a big space. Two meters by two meters. A little brewdio I'm calling it. It's a brewing station on that side for homebrew beer and things. I'll be doing a separate YouTube channel for that in the future. And then behind me is my repair station, uh, my office for working from home and then my gaming setup. So, or a couple of gaming setups. And then the other side of those doors just down here uh, is my garage where I used to have all my setup in one place. So it's a new space for me to use and make videos from and everything else in the future. So it's not quite finished. So I'll get a couple more things sorted and then We'll be doing a video and an update on that in the next week or so. But we're not here today to talk about the Brudio or do an office, an office or game room tour. We're here to do something really important to me, which is the Play It Forward box. It's back. It's back, baby. Um, but it's been a while since it disappeared. Um, no fault of anyone's. The Play It Forward box I kicked off about two years ago. Uh, it started off as a modified Dreamcast and a box of smaller items that were meant for like just a bit of a joke, a bit of a trade. Um, the Dreamcast went to Marcus from Dadalands Gaming and then it went on for a number of people and I think as it progressed naturally things changed don't they and it, it de degraded from being one big item and smaller items to lots of smaller items so that value kind of drifted away with it. Um, I know some people tried to pull it back I think Lee Retro Chef took a load of things to CEX and then gifted that voucher to the next person. Uh, we won't go into the detail of when it and where it stopped I think people will know that from the history. I know there's wider conditions and everything else going on, so no hard feelings anyway. The only thing I'd love to see again is the book, because in this box I believe there's another bo a book, and the book from the original one had signatures and messages from all the different people that had the Play It Forward box original. I'd love to see that again, if we can get that back in the community, absolutely amazing. Um, but Jim Corban has set this back up, and it's been around a couple of the tubers since, which is absolutely amazing, and it's come to me. Thank you to Retro Red Steve for sending it on to me. Um, Yes, he kept it in Wales, but I think a genuine reason for doing it this time was to keep it in Wales, send it to me, so it's gone full loop at least once, come through to me, I kicked it off originally, so it's come back, and then I can send it on to somebody else. I've got somebody in mind that I'm going to send it on to, um, but I've not messaged them yet. <laughs> I've just been so busy. I know I've only had seven months to do all this, but um, yeah, I've got to message the individual that I want to send the play it forward on to next, and it won't be staying in Wales. It's a bit of a tease you. Sorry, Matt, Metropolis is not going to you next. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the play it forward box. I've not even opened it yet. So Steve sent me it in two parts. So we've got the play it forward box, and then <laughs> Steve sent me this, which is a, a uh, what's it called? A Chad Valley stacking ball drop. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is Steve's personal toy. He's obviously had great fun with this. Hello YouTube, how the devil are you? Um, and wanted to gift it on to me, so no, I've opened this one already. I didn't know what it was when it arrived. I didn't think it was the plate forward, because look, I've got two boxes now. Already we're getting into the realms of being quite a, a, an item that we need to ship around in a bigger box, but um, we'll open this one first, because I know these items in here, Steve has selected personally for me. I've not opened the plate forward box yet, so I'll open that separately. Um, but yeah, let's go through this box first, because I think these ones are all personal gifts that Steve has selected that I would keep. So, in the first bag, I have to add a sneaky peek of this one, is a t-shirt, and some stickers that go on the cupboard down here, a red bubble t-shirt and a red bubble card, so it's come from red bubble, no doubt. Uh, and this is a really cool top, so this is a one of my favourite shoot 'em up games, and it's a side-scrolling cute 'em up. Uh, Mr. Heli, or I don't know how to say the Japanese version of the title. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely a lovely top. I'm really looking forward to wearing that. I haven't tried it on yet. Looks about right. Really cool top. Really chuffed with that. Thank you, Steve, for selecting that. Because I know I had a hint that he was going to be buying me some clothing. Because he asked me what t-shirt size I was. Um, I don't know what else is in this box. That's as far as I got when I did open it originally. Because I didn't know what it was. Um, second item I can see straight away. Oh, Steve. <coughs> Second item I can see straight away, and um, I think Steve said this is for <laughs> my my new puppy. Um, so we've got a new puppy, Marty, who's a Cocker Spaniel. I'll put a video up of him quickly. Um, he will absolutely love destroying that, <laughs> but I, I don't know whether I want to keep it for myself and stick it on the shelf with all my other turtle stuff. But um, no, he's really cool. So Marty will probably end up with that. Um, I might take some of the things off that he'll destroy within seconds. But yeah, that's really cool. Nice little plushy Leonardo. 
Um, thank you for that, Steve. Really cool idea. Bloody. What's this? Right, the next item in here, and the final item I think, is really cool actually. Um, a Hings manual for driving games. So, if you've seen this channel before, you know I'm a bit of a tinkerer, I love a Hings manual. Um, I did get rid of all my Hings manuals, I did have a massive collection of them at one point for the cars that I had over the years and then um, motorbikes and things like that. You just don't use them anymore, do you? You use YouTube for a lot of things, but this is different because this is a, a gaming one. This is more of a uh, encyclopedia than a, than actual manual, so this is really cool. It goes everything from the original sprints and all of those types of games right the way through to your modern racing games as well, uh, Outrun and everything else. So I'm looking, really looking forward to having a, a flick through this. I'll put this on the on the table, I think, out here, and rather than it being put away on the shelf for a while, I think I'll have a, a nice flick through this over the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, cool. Thank you so much for those, Steve. So we'll move on. I don't want to make this video hours and hours, but the three gifts that Steve bought me are those three that he thought about and has given to me. The rest of the items then, Steve may have put things in here, or he may have taken things out, or they may have been in there from originally. I'm not going to go through the box entirely because the whole point of it is that you take something out and put something in. It's a bit of a mystery, this part of it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open it up now. I'll try and do it on camera without showing you too much. And then we'll um, we'll go from there. I'll show you what I take out of it, but I'm not going to show you what I put back in there. And I'm also not going to show you what else is in the box, because that's a bit of a mystery for the next person. So let's undo the box. I'm going to use the knife, just chop it open. We'll try and keep to this box size, I think, going forward, and maybe a, a little bit of a gift one on top if we have to. Um, but we don't want it to grow huge again, do we? Right. How can I do this? Oh, you can't see on either of my cameras. Good, 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 good. Okay, so... There's the book. First of all, the book. So this is a replacement book from the original. Um, it's already got in there and the a couple of guides and where it's been. A map. Steve stupidly put his X in the wrong place. I want to see where he's put it because his knowledge of Wales should be pretty well. Oh, it's not too bad. He's not too far out of the way. Um, so this is a map of the UK and it'll you show where you've been, where the box has been, and then tick it and then in the book then is a opportunity for you to write a message and everything else so i won't show all the messages because they're obviously for the recipient to read and then to add their own in there um the other thing in here is a rules list i know the other youtubers over the last couple of months have gone through the the guide so i won't go into that in too much detail um it's got a little bit of history of where it started where it went to um and then just some of the suggestions around how to keep play it forward box 2.0 going so yeah i'll go into that in a little bit more detail uh, when I read that off camera, and then I'm gonna have a quick squeeze inside the box, see what's in here. I'm gonna take all of the packing out of the way, and we're gonna repack this once. Oh, nice! Something I do need straight away. Um, okay, a couple of games I can see, another a couple of accessories in here. Okay, so off camera, I've just gone through the box and had a look through there, and there's some really cool things in here. Um, there's some items in here, are sealed, and yeah pretty pretty decent quality items actually um, there's a mixture of games DVDs um, some accessories and other things in here so I've identified a couple of things I'm going to take out I've just got to go and check in the other room if I've got one of these games already if I don't or if it's an upgrade then I may take it out and I won't put the, the downgraded one in here that'd be a bit mean wouldn't it um, but I might take that game out um, but whatever I'm taking out I'm going to replace so give me two minutes I'm just going to go and check in the other room if I've got this one game if not, I'm going to take a couple of things out and I'll show you on camera what I'm taking out. Cool, catch you in a sec. Okay, I am back. Um, I don't need it. I don't need that item, so it's staying in there. It's a nice game, though. Um, so the one I've got on my shelf is exactly the same condition. Same, it's got a manual and everything else with it. So, what am I taking out? I want to take it out. What am I putting in? Oh, choice of choice. Oh, that's nice. I haven't got that, though. Hmm. Okay, so, what are they? Cool stuff in here. <gasps> oh, I want some more. Oh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, that's beyond me. That's out of my league. I don't know what that is. So that can stay in there for somebody that knows what that's all about. 
you'll know by the rattly bag that what it is if you ever get this. That I don't collect for that system. And this. Okay, so I've decided what I'm taking out of the box. I can take out this, which is a uh, Numskull Mega Drive uh, wireless charging mat. So you put a USB connector into the back of it, put it on your desk, and then when you put your phone on top, it charges your phone. My phone would be perfect on that, and that'll be great out of this office. So yeah, really cool. I like that. That's a really nice little accessory for me. Um, and then the other two items I've taken out, and they're third-party items. They're not originals, but they're really nice condition. Are these two? Um, and they're third-party N64 controllers. I think I've got one N64 controller in my box of N64 parts. It's one of those things you never come across controllers in a decent condition. So yeah, getting two extra controllers would be absolutely amazing for my setup, personally for my setup. Um, I think I've got a spare N64 console, but no controllers, so definitely they'll be going into my collection as well. Um, but the rest of the box I'm not touching, so there's loads of really cool things in there. Um, from games to films and other things. I don't want to go into accessories. I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it. But um, yeah, really pleased that I'm part of this again, part of the community, part of YouTube. <laughs> I'm back on the tubes. Um, yeah, and I'll get the box onto the next recipient, hopefully in the next couple of days. I've got a message on first. I've got somebody in mind. If they say they want it, I've got a couple of little things I want to get for that individual if they accept being part of the Play It Forward. If they do, I'll write my message in the book, I'll get it all sorted and sent off and we'll keep this tradition going. Hopefully we can get it around as much of the community over the next couple of months as possible. Um, this video and all the other Play It Forward videos will be added to the playlist. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Have a look at it. It's some real cool history in there. There's only one channel or two channels maybe that have deleted their channels since. Um, so there's a little bit of a gap in the history. Um, but the rest of it is all there and you can have a look through the YouTube history there and see where the box went and what people were taking out of it. Um, may, may it live longer and go around the community even further this time around. But um, yeah, let's have a bit of fun with it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for waiting, bearing with me while I'm getting back onto camera. It's been really weird actually doing this video. It's taken me a couple of takes to get into it. I've been loads of noise, dogs barking, people talking. I'm in the broodio. I'm happy. I will get a room tour done soon and I'll catch you on the next one. Cool.